Hey everyone, how is everybody doing today? To all my viewers and subscribers out there who have been sharing the videos, liking them, and making your comments, I just want to thank you all. So today I'm on the road as usual and I'm going to do a little shopping today. I'll be going to Trader Joe's just to pick up a few items. I'm not going to the yellow market today because I have enough stuff in the house to keep me. So I have some new things coming up in the summer. A few people, you know, have hit me up asking me if I could come to their barbecues and do their barbecues for them with a twist. And that's good news. So Celie's Kitchen will be live in people's backyard at their barbecues. And I also have some little parties coming up, people asking me to cater. So I'll be going live as well. So I want you to like those videos and share them. So guys, this weekend, um, I have, last weekend, you know, I did the fritters with the pumpkin and the spinach. And oh my God, I can't believe so many people just wanted to taste this thing. Matter of fact, at least five people called me already, you know, to say that they have tried it and how delicious it was. When I went to church Sunday morning, you know, some of my church members, fellow church members, oh, when the fritters there, I thought you was gonna bring fritters because you had extra butter. And I said, yes, I intended to, but you should have called. And you know, it's just fun, you know, interacting with everyone and everyone liking the videos and following the recipes. You know, Celie's Kitchen is coming out with a cookbook soon with all the twisted recipes. So, you know, I want you to buy those books or I, you could access it online. I could, you know, send it to your email if you like. But you know, some of the old school people that are not, you know, internet savvy or YouTube savvy, they would prefer if, you know, they're looking out of a book to follow some of these recipes. So, guys, as soon as I get to Trader Joe's, I will be videoing what I'm picking up so you could see some of the items that I use in Sealy's kitchen. And by the way, tomorrow I have a very special live on Facebook. I'll be making some very, very, very special pancakes. And I'm sure you're gonna wanna taste that pancake because it's, it's some pancakes with a twist. When I say twist, the pancake I got twist up with what they're gonna put in there. <laughs> I can't wait. So guys, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube videos and you enjoy the weekend. So guys, I'm shopping in Trader Joe's today and I just picked up a few items that I ran out of and um, I'm getting some tangerine juice, um, some original lemonade, some coconut water, and of course my carriages and green onions. They call it green onions, but we call it skelia. So, I'll keep you guys posted as I go along. So guys, I'm over where the cheese are and I am getting my favorite mozzarella um, style almond shreds. And um, I normally use this to make my omelets. So this is one of the things I normally get when I come here. Oh, lobster ravioli. I've never seen this one. Mm. Okay. So I'm thinking of getting some spinach tortellini. It's spinach filled. It has spinach, um, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, parmesan. Ready in minutes. Uh, yeah, I think I get that too. I'm also picking up some mango coconut wine. This is very, very delicious. One of my favorites too. 
and of course let's go over to the cereal and I'm getting my ginger almond cashew cereal this is so delicious my cousin introduced me to this Andrea and since the day I tasted it um, I've been hooked And of course, guys, I'm getting my favorite bread, my raisin cranberry pecan bread. Oh, I always hear about compets. And now I actually came across compets. Ah, I'm gonna have some tea in compets. So guys, I am leaving Trader Joe's. I just picked up a few items that I ran out of. And I'm going to my car. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. Now, to all my viewers and subscribers that have been liking my channel and leaving your comments, I'm happy to tell you that I'm delighted to see that you are enjoying the cooking, the live, and the activities. Now, today's Friday and I'm making a special kind of dish today. So I have American butterfish that I'm gonna be stuffing and I'm gonna be grilling it today. So I, I know you never heard of that. So I'll be stuffing that with some corn. I'll be roasting some corn. I'll be roasting some plantain. And I'll also be making sweet potato salad. So stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe to my channel okay guys so I'm using um, some potatoes I'm using some gourmet potatoes and a white potato and two sweet potatoes which we call batata and in Jamaica we just call it sweet potato so I'm using that to make my sweet potato salad today so I'm putting it to boil. My water is already boiling. So I'm cutting these in small pieces and I'm dropping them in the pot. So while these are boiling, I'm gonna be grilling my fish. Oops, I have potato on my finger. So I'll be boiling this and I will be making a very, very delicious sweet potato salad. Oops, these things hard to peel sometimes, you know, because it's a very thick skin. Some people use a potato peeler to peel it. And then when you peel it, you have to wash it off. Right, so guys, what I'm doing here, I um, this is my mixture of seasoning, and this is a mixture of adobo, um, Maggie bouillon, um, Grace all-purpose seasoning, some black pepper, and some dried herbs. So what I did, I seasoned my fish, and then I stuffed it with some mixture of bak choy, some um, shrimp, pieces of um, sweet pepper, um, pieces of onion, scallion, and of course okra because you can't stuff a fish without some okras in it. And every fish is gonna have a little piece of shrimp in it. So I'm gonna be resting it right here. So I'm gonna season another fish. And after I finish seasoning, guys, I'm gonna brush on some butter before I put it on the grill because I want it to have this nice crisp um, look on the outside when it's done. So I'm seasoning my fish. So I'm rubbing this all over the fish. So normally the typical Jamaican way is to wrap it in foil paper and then stuff and you know stuff it and then wrap it in foil paper and put it on a grill. So because I'm using an inside grill, a sharper image grill. I'm making it slightly different. I'm making it my way. So that's the twist with the shrimp inside 
and normally they use Kalalu, I'm using Bak Choy. So I'm stuffing up this fish and when it's done, it's gonna be so, so, so delicious. Let me put it in the head. Putting it in. So that's what we are gonna devour today. Some nice stuffed fish. Okay guys, so all my fishes are seasoned and stuffed and now it's ready to go on the grill. So what I'm gonna do for each fish before I put it on the grill, I'm going to um, brush it with some garlic butter because I want the outside to have a crisp look and also a flavorful taste. Okay. So now I'm gonna brush my first fish with some garlic butter. So it's already marinated with all the seasoning and oh my shrimp is falling out of that one. Uh, so I'm resting it on the grill right here. And then I'm gonna brush another one. So oops. So it's a little different from the stuffed fish you guys always eat. Um, the stuffed fish you, you guys are, are accustomed to, that one is always wrapped in foil paper. So guys, this one is not wrapped in foil paper. Okay, so I'm gonna add some heat to these fishes and they don't take long to cook because it's butter fish. Alrighty. Okay guys, so you, as you can see, um, my fish is cooked on one side. So I'm turning it, oh that shrimp fell out, it's okay. And I'm turning the other one. Okay guys, so I boiled my sweet potatoes and my, um, my gourmet potatoes. So I'm adding some chopped sweet peppers and some chopped green onions, which is scallion. And then I'm going to be adding some veginase, some Hell's, some Hellman's veginase to this salad. Okay. And that's about two tablespoons, judging from what I put in the container. So I'm gonna mix this up gonna mix this up I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna add some parsley to this mix so I'm breaking up some of them because some of them is a little big I had to boil the sweet potatoes a little big because you know Sometimes it tend to get a little soft, but these were very, very firm because, you know, they're organic. Let me get this out of the way. They're organic, so they were very firm. So I'm mixing this up. So I don't like egg in my potato salad. So I didn't add egg, but egg is optional if you want to add this. And I am also going to be adding some herb seasoning just a little bit just a little sprinkle you know just to make it a little tasty and this is the Wesley Farms no salt herb seasoning and then I'm gonna add a little parsley Gonna add a little parsley. And then I'm gonna mix this together. So I'm just making enough for Hobby and myself because we are a small family. Okay, I think the first set of fish is finished. So guys, 
The food is ready. Dinner is ready. So we have here grilled stuff, butterfish, along with some sweet potato salad, some corn, some roasted um, semi-sweet plantains, and of course, some steamed bok choy. So like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and have a great evening.